Ron Helgamo. I lived next to Gordon for over 20 years in Ormond by the Sea. And it was always uh, something new going on at his house. <laughs> he, uh, he always had different boats out here, but this was the biggest one that he ended up with. He had a 50-foot Trumpy for a while that he had to get rid of. But one time he had like five or six boats out here and the county got after him, so he, he moved them around. He put one at the end of my dock, one next door over here. Can, can you tell me your name? I'm Kazmira, by the way. Yeah, my name is Randy Scott. Nice to meet you, Randy. So what do you think about the tug moving its I don't know, home, uh, basically? I, well, I'd heard, I moved here about a year ago, and I'd heard that they were going to make a floating museum out of it somewhere. I guess the cause of its demise was uh, was the oil leak, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know who made the decision, you know, to sell or to, to scrap it. Um, but I, I guess it's a little bit bitter sweet. My wife and I kayak on the Halifax here. And we would go by and there would be service people here. I assumed that it served on the, on the Tatahako. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but anyway, they would hold meetings on this thing. And, uh, and I had heard, you know, never spoke to any of them personally, that they had planned on, you know, trying to raise funds to get the thing, you know, like a floating museum. Anyway, uh, once it's gone, I guess, you know, it's good for the environment. And, uh, but I'll miss it, you know. I always, uh, I live about three streets up. And so when I pass the tugboat, I know I'm getting ready to turn, you know.